Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to another video. In a previous video, I showed you how to take a mini light bar for automotive usage and adapt it to a drill battery uh, to make yourself a pretty cool, powerful, and uh, budget uh, bike light for mountain bike riding in the night and trails or around in the streets. I made one for my son as well, and we've been rocking this for a while now. So just recently, a friend of mine approached me, and he wants a set of lights as well. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have any of the Milwaukee drill batteries in the charging system. He's more of a DeWalt guy. He asked me if there's something else that I could do to make it work for him. So my solution for him was to actually try to source out some proper rechargeable batteries. So we went with some high-quality batteries. These are Samsung 18650. Uh, these are 3.7 volts each, so we'll take three of them and we'll put them in series and we'll put some holders together and we'll solder them in series and that will give us around 12 volts. What I also did was I actually just ended up getting a wall charger for them as well so I don't have to do some type of an elaborate charging system for them. And fortunately enough, I actually found a different a light bar as well and this actually was actually cheaper this came out to about ten dollars light bar um, there is no spot on this light bar it's just um, all flood so we're gonna see how this actually works so what I'm gonna do is I'll do a quick build video on how I put it all together I'll go through all the parts I use and purchase I'll put a link in the description below of what I actually purchased and we will do a before and after so I'll show you the lights that I made previously and I'll show you the brightness of this new light that I found and we'll do a little comparison and we'll weigh the to, to see how much lighter the new system is going to be as well. So the light install, the bracket is all the same as my previous video. The only thing we're going to do different here is we're going to try a different light bar and we're going to do a different uh, battery pack system. So to start off, we ended up purchasing some Samsung uh, batteries. So these are 18650s and these are 2600 uh, milliamp hours. And in order to get 12 volts, we will put three of these in a series and we'll solder those in. Um, these batteries are actually designed for um, charging and discharging. Um, they're proper batteries that you would find in like in a, a laptop type of battery pack. I bought some proper battery holders and so we'll put three of these and wire these in series. Now I think these wires are a little bit thin so what I'm going to do is use some thicker gauge wire and just re-solder into this just for extra safety. Now I went with an actual uh, battery charger. So this is a wall mount battery charger designed to work with these batteries. So if you wanted to get crafty, you could pick up one of these smart battery chargers and you could create like a battery pack like this and solder it all on. Um, I found that for the mountain bike situations and the conditions we were in and the wet weather and stuff like that, that, that might be um, prone to maybe shorting out or the, the wires uh, breaking off. So. We're just going to um, use the battery holders. So it's my understanding that these batteries don't like to be soldered on the end to do the connections. And I don't have a spot welder to do the spot to properly um, weld those up. So I'm gonna stick with these battery holders. And what we'll do is we'll mount them on a plate and we will put some Velcro around so they don't rattle loose. So I'll show you how I use that. The light bar that I'm going with is something a little bit different. So this is the previous light bar that I purchased and you can see that it has individual LED bulbs in it and it has some floods and it has some spots. Um, this was more than enough power for me to ride at night. Um, so I ended up purchasing this one and this one's actually a little bit cheaper and you can see that it's a little bit smaller and a little bit compact and it does feel a little bit lighter. So there's a weight savings there as well. I went and got some proper weatherproof automotive connectors and these are pretty rugged. Um, and they clip in and they have a seal on them and they clamp on for a real positive locking. So one side will be in the battery pack and then it will come out of the holder and that will come on that and this will go to the switch and to the bar. And so this allows you to break apart the system if you need to, if you need to extend in the wires or do some repairs to it or do a different battery pack so you don't have to redo the whole system over again. So the quick connectors are good. So what I'm also gonna do is provide some protection. My previous light doesn't have any fuse protection. So if anything shorts out, it'll just probably melt the wire or the battery. I didn't want that. So I ended up getting a fuse holder and a five amp fuse and we'll put that in right by the battery. And this is the holder that I'm using. It's, it's like a little water bottle sippy cup for kids. It's pretty rugged. Um, I got it at the dollar store. Um, I used this on my previous uh, light and it works pretty good. So I'm happy with it. More than enough size to put the battery in. 
So you'll be able to put this whole battery pack in and you probably could probably put three more batteries in so you could be fully charged and you could probably go for a three or four hour bike ride, no problem. So what I'll do is I will put it all together and I'll show you how it's constructed. So to start this off, we're gonna use a piece of ABS plastic and I'll mount the battery holders right on here and we'll bolt those down and then we'll put the fuse on the back side here and we'll saw that all together and that will be our battery pack. come in to the wire, go to the fuse, down the plus and then a negative, goes back out and attaches back out to the prong and goes out. So then this will connect to that and that will go to the switch and then go to the light. And that all nicely fits in here. And there you go. There's your battery pack and it's a fraction of the weight of a drill battery and it actually is quite a bit cheaper as well. Well, I hope you like that quick build montage on the different way of building a battery pack for your light so you don't really have to go out and buy a drill set or any type of charger and stuff like this. Um, these batteries and that wall charger actually turns out to be a little cheaper than using a drill battery. As I mentioned, we're going to be trying this flood light bar. Um, this is a little cheaper and a little lighter than the other one I was using, so I'm kind of seeing what the results are on that one as well. And what I'll also do is I'll do a comparison of my old one, which has separate LEDs, spot and flood, and we'll see how the beam pattern works out and how much difference that actually makes in your riding. So uh, let's go do a comparison. So we've got the scale here, and we're going to weigh everything. So the old light system, the old battery pack, is... 796.9 grams, which is actually one pound and 12 ounces. So we got one pound. Mind you, this doesn't have the bracket, so let's go. So that's 480 grams. So even with the bracket, it's it's quite a bit lighter. Well, I have everything set up in my backyard here. I hope my neighbors don't mind. So I have the original light that I made, version one, and this new version two one that I just completed with the new battery pack. And so what we'll do is we'll turn on version one light, and you can see this one is a spot and a little bit of a flood, and you can tell that it's quite intense in the middle there. Now I found this light quite suitable for night riding in all sorts of situations and trails. And turn this one off. And we'll turn on just the straight flood light. So this is that cheaper, lighter light that I found and it's strictly a flood. And there's no spot, so you can see that there's really no intensity in the middle. Now I would find that this would be still suitable for night riding. But if you're looking for a little bit more power and you're a faster and more technical rider, you may want to go with a spot and a flood combo like that one. And so what I'll do is I'll turn on the other one. You can see how much more that it casts out to the side. So there you have it. Just to show you that most of these light bars will be suitable for night riding.
Well, I hope you found this video useful and informative and inspires you to build something similar. And as I mentioned, this version 2 video is more about the battery pack and the alternative light bars that are out there. I know some of you had some trouble figuring out which one is perfect for you. So you just have to determine if you want a complete flood, a complete spot, or a combination of both. If you do make a light like this, please leave a comment below. I'd like to know how you may out. And once again, thanks for watching. Oh,